The cloud cover's out this morning. It's just not, it's not the same as yesterday. It's not foggy, so this isn't down at ground level. This is a couple hundred feet up, but they're getting reasonably thick. This is going to be tough to break today. We will see at least a few breaks this afternoon. Just not going to see a ton of sun, but we're starting out very warm. It is in the mid to upper 60s. It's been there all night. Now, there's not a lot of wind. It's about, on average, 10 mile per hour winds, which is nice in the morning hours. You don't really want a lot of wind but we are going to see the winds increase today. A few showers have been out in our eastern areas, out by Tyler and Athens. We've seen a few little passing showers, really not much in the Metroplex. And with this wind out of the southeast at 10 miles per hour and about to increase, you can expect the Gulf moisture to stay with us today, tonight, tomorrow. Think of Gulf moisture as kind of fuel for active showers and storms or any storm system. It doesn't mean you're guaranteed anything. It just needs some of the fuel for it. You got to have the engine to start it too. Just because you put gas in the car doesn't mean the car goes on. Low clouds have surged north. We have eastern areas of the state getting some rain this morning. If you look closely at the clouds racing through the panhandle, that's a sign of a strong jet streak. This cloud cover here means that the winds are increasing aloft from this direction. And it's all ahead of a very intense upper level storm. If you look closely, obviously it's color coded based on temperature. Rather cold across the west. It is snowing in the elevations outside of Vegas this morning. Salt Lake City, western Colorado. And the winds ahead of this pocket of colder air, they're starting to diverge. They're not there yet. They're all blowing out of the same direction. But later today and tonight, you're going to see winds more out of the south around Colorado and more of the southwest over Texas. That causes the air aloft to rip apart and the air at the surface to go up. By the time the storm gets here tomorrow, this is not today, this is Friday, we're still under anywhere between slight and enhanced risk for severe weather. People have asked me, what's the difference between the two of them? In general, it's going to be a higher coverage event. So once you're into the enhanced category, it's either going to be higher coverage sometimes or higher intensity. In this case, I really believe we're going to be dealing with a line of storms, which means to me high coverage. And when you get a line of storms, it's usually a wind threat because it mixes some of that high energy jet stream air down. There could also be a couple of smaller tornadoes on the leading edge. It, there is the risk when you have a squall line, you get some leading edge spin ups, and that is certainly not out of the question. Hail is a secondary issue. Usually the first couple of storms can have hail. Once it forms into a line, typically we don't see a lot of hail out of it. The rain coverage, the chance that you get rain is about 80. I mean, in the Metroplex, it's probably closer to 90%, but 80% across our area. Of the storms we have, Less than half of them will be capable of severe weather, but maybe a third are, so we have to watch that. The high wind is the main threat. Some will have hail, at least the initial ones. Not all are going to have one-inch hail. And then the tornado risk from DFW East. The time frame on this is 3 to 9 o'clock tomorrow. And as I said earlier, I'm going to repeat it because I'll tell you, it's still going to be fine-tuned. I'm giving you a six-hour window at this point. I think the data will come together more for a four hour window. So it could be three to seven, or it could be five to nine. We'll have to fine tune that part, but it's gonna be in the afternoon and evening. So be right now be thinking three to nine o'clock, three on the early side, nine o'clock will be for Eastern counties. Today, we break a few holes in the clouds. That's it. Tomorrow, kind of cloudy. Some showers will perk up in the afternoon, in noon, and then these lines start to develop in the afternoon, congealing into one big mess, eventually becoming a squall line and pushing into our eastern counties, really just a solid line. Not all severe, but some will be severe. And once they clear the area, we got some cool air to start Saturday morning. By the afternoon, should warm up nicely to 73. The breezes will diminish pretty quickly. Sunday is up to 81. So really tomorrow is the biggest day that we watch afternoon, evening. Saturday looks nice. Sunday looks warm. Monday turns more on the cloudy side and humid again with some scattered showers. Tuesday and Wednesday and probably Thursday chip all unseasonably warm again.